Well, I took down that curtain track that's been in the air. I was I was estimating since the 1970s or maybe as early as the 1980s, but I'm going to amend my estimation and say that this was probably one of the first things put in by the stage technicians after the building was built in 1957. So that means this is probably 1960s era installation. And there's a number of things wrong with it, not to mention the condition of the aircraft cable, the inability of doing any replacement on that cable after the track has been installed because these points were under the grid by more than a foot and there's no access to that point and you can't reach your hands through the three inch steel grid planks to do any maintenance on there. And you can see from that layer of dust that's on the top, that's how long this has been in the air and undisturbed. I would venture to guess that's 50 to 60 years of dirt and dust and debris and garbage. I was wondering what kind of curtain track this is, and then when it comes down, I see that it has a Richards Wilcox Manufacturing and Company. I wasn't familiar with them as a theatrical track supplier, so I looked them up on the internet. They still exist. They're a door manufacturer. They are not a theatrical overhead rigging supply location. I did look up some of their history, and their history says that they got into fire doors and that sort of thing in the mid 20th century and other specialty doors, but they don't have any mention in their historical webpage about ever being involved in theatrical supplies. So right there, we're using a barn door application for overhead rigging. Big no-no. We don't know that this is rated for the type of installation it's been used for the last 60, 70 years, and we don't trust this age of this equipment in any case. It does say number 31, 10 feet. And again, a web search shows that Richards Wilcox is still making this number 31 design door track. So there's probably been little change in the hardware in 70 years. What I'm most concerned about is this attachment method. There's absolutely nothing to prevent this from spinning. There's no extra lock nut there. Theoretically, that nut is tight enough to keep it from spinning, but this is intended to hang a door that's a few inches from the ground. If it falls off, it falls off onto the ground. It doesn't fall off onto actors and stage hands and stage crew. The age of this, how do I know that any of this is grade eight or grade five hardware? It probably isn't. And most definitely these malleable clamps are not okay for overhead rigging in any case. I don't know if the door manufacturer installed this to keep the two points in fixed position as they track left and right. We're gonna pull it apart. We're gonna see what kind of hardware where this is and compare it with a, an actual scenery hanger. Let's look at these hangers, see how they attach. Here. So this is most likely a homemade steel rod with threads, probably not something that was purchased. Again, I can't verify the rating of this. Is this grade eight? Is this grade five? Is this just something that they got off the shelf at a steel place? Unknown. So definitely nothing like standard curtain track or stage track hardware mounting. What was happening here is that this rod and this spacer we're clamping down onto this nut, which was going through the top of the track. So standard curtain track clamps down in two pieces onto the track, and it has a bolt up here that, that pinches it down and cinches it to the track so that it can't slide left and right. This one was prevented from sliding left and right because this rod went through a hole in the top and was preventing it from sliding left and right. And here we have your standard door type hardware. There is nothing about this that is rated to hang scenery or expected to hang scenery. There's too many small lightweight components built into this and anything could break from this little mushroom top and then the whole thing could fall out to any of these wheels. I'm surprised this has lasted for 65 to 70 years. And again, this hardware not rated, not grade five or grade eight, nothing about it. Um, and you notice, look at that, look at that. I haven't even done anything with this and this is already two or three threads away from falling out completely. One, two, three, four, five. That was ready to fall from the air and there was no safety, no safety locking that in place whatsoever. I'm glad I finally took this out of the air. And then that would come out, then that would come out, then now this whole thing would be just 
dangerous thing. This is what your standard scenery carrier looks like. It's a solid piece of square rod. It's welded in here. I'm a little bit concerned. I think this is H, H track. I'm a little concerned that this bolt is not grade five or grade eight. There's no markings on here saying it's grade five or grade eight. It is welded in and tack welded in. Uh, it looks like this might be aluminum and this is zinc. Everything here should be grade eight or grade five hardware. Nothing here is going to come undone, and this is not going to fall apart under normal loads. This is going to work very well. This has got bearings in here, sealed bearings, and then your only concern is your attachment point to this bolt that you need to make sure you are attaching it appropriately to your scenery, not with door hanging hardware. Place support brackets 30 inches apart on centers. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty good with my math. And if this is a 10 foot piece and it's got three supports, then those three supports are not 30 inches on center. That would be five feet on center. That would be 60 inches, twice as far as the manufacturer recommends. So even for hanging your door, which is gonna end up being just a couple inches from the ground when it's fully hung and true, they're recommending two more brackets per piece. So already the installers weren't following the manufacturer's recommended installation instructions. When the curtain track says you need a hanger every five feet, you need a hanger every five feet. If your track says it needs it more often, you need to have those hangers that frequency. This is some true roll scenery hangers for track. Not sure which particular track they go with. And these haven't been used in forever. Some of these wheels don't spin. They need to be lubricated and cleaned. These best have best been in storage behind the fly rail with the system for the last 15 years. But you can see welded components, bolted. None of these pieces of hardware are grade five or grade eight because of the age. These were probably built and installed in the 70s or the 80s at the latest. So if I were to reuse them, we'd trade all that hardware out for grade five or grade eight hardware. Here's another scenery hanger. This one is probably specifically for the h, &H track that's here. This one is designed to pivot and someone has zip tied it so that it can't pivot. Zip ties aren't theoretically taking any weight. Can it be locked into non-pivot mode? Possibly, I don't know other than that. The age of this track hardware is such that it probably all needs to be changed out because none of it is grade five or grade eight. It's been in the air for, for I don't know how long. And it's holding this leg and it allows us to track the leg on and off stage for quick positions and it stops with that stop point there. That piece of scenery track could pivot and create legs that are on an angle, but if you do that and also have this border hung on it, then that's going to interfere with each other and cause issues because someone's going to slide this out here, they're going to pivot it, and then they're going to try to drive it this way, and then this point of this pipe is going to tear into this curtain and, and tear a hole in it. And we absolutely don't want that. So only use curtain track and track hardware that's rated and designed for hanging scenery. Don't grab your average barn door or other door manufacturer hardware and think that's good enough for hanging your scenery in your theater above your performer's heads. We make specialty hardware that's designed exactly for this type of thing. Let's use the specialty hardware. And just to make sure no one uses this again for anything in theater, I'm gonna chop it up and throw it away. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time with more technical theater content.